sales numbers are in for February and uh, Tesla Model 3. Let's see if it's betting two in a row. You probably can guess from this graphics. Also, Geneva Auto Show is just about to start. So some interesting news from Mercedes and Audi are coming up. So it's very exciting. We're going to talk about it all. And of course, we're going to talk about the uh, IP. So let's get going. We're going to start right now. All right, so Tesla Model 3, of course, is on top of the charts. Uh, it's sold, well, there are two different sets of numbers. People are obviously have to guess the because uh, they don't report it. Tesla doesn't report its numbers uh, monthly, just quarterly. But people are estimating that it uh, has sold about 2,500 to 3,000, maybe a little over 3,000 Model 3s in February, which makes it the most sold car electric car yeah really in the world definitely in the us uh definitely in the world again it's really kind of hard to estimate the numbers because not everybody reports them but it's twice in a row i am going to expect that this is going to be pretty much happening every month uh, i will probably mention it a couple of times <laughs> a couple more times but really it should be becoming a norm obviously as they're ramping it up it should be at about five thousand by the end of this month right as they promised that's the number that we're looking at this is the number we're really expecting. So uh, certainly, uh, certainly, I don't see anybody else uh, catching up. Uh, Nissan Leaf sales are a little disappointing. I don't know if it's uh, still because they're not selling enough because of production. Um, the Chevy Bolt numbers are uh, down. Uh, Prius, you know, the Prius plug-in hybrid, they are part, you know, the, the, these sales numbers are in charts that include plug-in hybrids. People are still buying a Prius. They love it, I guess. Um, all right, I'm, you know, don't know what to say to that, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely great news. You know, we know we know that this year is the year of Model Three in electric cars, and certainly the numbers are proving me and everybody else who think that uh, uh, right. All right, there are a couple of other interesting stories that are coming out. You know, the Geneva Auto Show is just about to start, so very interesting stuff coming out of there. But before we talk about it, just a quick reminder that this show is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla, and we have a discount coup a coupon code. I don't want to call it a coupon code, discount code. Um, in the description of this video, just so you can save a few bucks, this is the discount code specifically created for our community. All right, let's move on to the next story. And, you know, Audi e-tron, um, you know, it's kind of a slip under the radar, uh, I, I believe. Not many people know that it's coming out I, and I don't and people who do are not as excited as I think they should be because you know we just talked about uh, Jaguar I-Pace and I was you know I was saying this is a big deal because it's a decent range car about 220 maybe even 240 uh, is the estimation EPA estimation for the range and then it's established um, car company Jaguar and it's a compact SUV it should be one of the most popular type of cars right now in the year in the year in the world because it's in popular in Europe popular in China popular in the United States so it's just a perfect car all around that's why Elon Musk is predicting Model Y to be there to you know best a sold car ever once it comes out well Audi e-tron is coming out this year as well they haven't unveiled it yet they will unveil it tomorrow at the show in geneva uh we kind of have a pretty good guess of what's going to look like um you know good looking again this does not look these cars do no longer look like compliance cars right this is a good looking suv from audi um it is going to look uh, luxurious inside i'm pretty certain that i can guess that um and people are guessing that it's going to start at around forty thousand american dollars which will kick jaguars behind up and down because you know like i said yesterday and the day before i was a little surprised at the pricing that uh, jaguar um ipace uh, really came up with um i would be more comfortable with something uh 65 or 70 thousand range so if this is i mean even if they price it at 50 and by the way this car's range is estimated to be about 270 epa maybe 280 EPA, right? And we're still, you know, all these numbers still need to be confirmed, but uh, longer range, I would say Audi, I mean, let me know in the chat room or if you're watching in the replay, I would say Audi is just as good of a brand or popular as a brand as Jaguar, maybe a little hipper, you know, so younger drivers, so maybe a little bit different demo, but uh, listen, I, 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 if they're going to price it at that, 
I might just go, I, I mean, I've never owned Audi for many different reasons. I'm not against it. It's just they never, they always came in number two in all of my choices, right? So this could just be, you know, something that I can get behind. Uh, Derek in the chat room says that paint job, decal job is absolutely horrific. I wouldn't take a child under 17 of age to see this unveiling. Um, well, <laughs> this is a camouflage uh, the, the, you know, this is like a camouflage uh, 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 wrap, I guess, that they put on cars just so you can't figure out the shape. But they're actually selling, saying that um, uh, people like it so much that they might actually make that as an option for the paint. So, Derek, you, <laughs> some people actually like it. By the way, so here's the thing that they're, they're pulling kind of an interesting stunt, right? So, this in Geneva, they brought over 200 prototypes of these cars. They're running around in Geneva right now. They're inviting people to um, kind of chase them around, take a picture and post it on social media. There are a few pictures already and they're also doing live interviews. If you go to uh, Audi's website and uh, their Facebook feed, I believe is what they're doing the you know, they're interviewing people, they're, they're riding in these cars, they make it really exciting, they're just trying to take over Geneva and create all this buzz. So this is one of the cars uh, taken from their video. So if you really want to kind of uh, join the excitement, go to their website and, and, and start watching. Uh, and just like I said, they're just flooding the city with these cars. But this is not the actual paint job that they're going to have in there. I'm sure they'll have different car colors and stuff like that. But just like I said, this damn thing looks pretty good to some people and they might actually uh, get this camouflaged as well. Uh, in my honest opinion, says I'll be surprised if they can sell it for 40,000 before incentives. That's cheaper than a Bolt. Uh, well, Bolt starts at 38,000, but yeah, I mean, uh, Gabriel believes it's going to be 70,000 starting price. I have to say, if it's 40 or even 50, pff, game over, right? I, some people are estimating, but you're right. It, it, realistically, it's gonna, probably going to come in around 70 i'm going to agree with you gabriel uh give or take 10 okay i'm going to give myself a lot of wiggle room but we'll find out we just only have to wait for one more day you know another company is trying to make a splash before the geneva show is mercedes and as you know they uh are coming out with their eq series that's going to be all electric fleet which is awesome uh and we all thought that eqc like their compact suv is going to be not compact it's actually a regular suv it's going to be the first one in their lineup next year but guess what they just announced that what they're going to do is they're going to going to rebrand i guess their smart uh a car which i think is called smart 4.2 and as you can see there's a four-door version for those of you guys like myself who live in america we don't have a four-door version we just have a tiny little two version that you see over there and so they're just going to rebrand it <laughs> going to rebrand it let's call it smart eq 4.2 uh and that's going to be their first uh, uh aq series car in their lineup uh also they're going to add fast charging to this car you can charge i think 80 percent of their battery in 40 minutes and that's kind of becoming a new sort of uh uh, um, a measuring stick. Uh, obviously, this car is tiny. Uh, I'm not really sure why they would call it a smart car. Maybe can, somebody can uh, explain it to me. Uh, hopefully, they won't uh, race uh, Model X, but you know, we'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's that's interesting news. Well, I mean, I'm not excited about it, but I figured <laughs> I'll tell you guys about it because it's a bit of a. Um, uh, it's a it's a bit of a, 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 a obviously a marketing uh, a, a ploy. Uh, Nick Nimmin is in the chat room who just received his one hundred thousand subscriber. Uh, what do you call it? Silver button, uh, and you can see the video on his channel. Him unwrapping it. Something that I'm looking forward to. Maybe next year. We'll see. Uh, but I think he's closer to like two hundred at this point. Only tells you how fast YouTube moves sometimes. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Nick, he says, fast charging. I love fast charging. Everybody loves fast charging, whether it's your phone, um, your uh, whatever else you charge with batteries uh, or your car. So uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Um, uh, DRK, she says, I'm happy smart is going fully electric. It is perfect for crowded cities. Yeah, I'm not really sure about safety, obviously, when it's such a tiny car. I mean, imagine a humongous Hummer hits it. And I don't know. Um, all right. Let's, enough of smart EQ, all right? Let's move on to another tiny little car that I like a little bit better. A uh, Renault Zoe, one of the best selling electric car cars in, in Europe, a number one uh, best selling car in France. The reason I really like it uh, is because they have a car battery leasing program where you lease your battery instead of buying it. I believe this is a really smart move. I really hope uh, more car companies are gonna do it. Uh, the Chinese manufacturer Neo uh, is coming up with a car that you will also be able to lease the battery and swap it. Now, um, 
they are kind of a starting to step away from that concept and I hope it's just giving everybody an option. But in France, they decided that they're actually going to go ahead and you know include the battery, battery included, uh, as an option for their uh, for their car sales in France. Um, it, will, it looks like they're gonna start doing it in other cars. I just hope they don't take the leasing option away uh, from everybody. Again, I think it's one of the best ideas that I've heard as far as electric car uh, sales are concerned because you know you you know you can up, you don't have to worry about the battery degradation right because it belongs to the company that owns the battery whether it's a manufacturer or a third party you can upgrade or downgrade it you know live with your budget make the monthly payment separately I think this is actually not a bad idea uh, so that's uh, that's something that I'm a little bit concerned about but I good I, I think it's good that people uh, now have a choice to actually own uh, the battery if they want to. Uh, what do you think about the new Hyundai Kona uh, is asking uh, Tindification. Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, Hyundai's uh, um, sister company Kia. Uh, it is another good looking SUV with an over 200 mile range from an established car maker that's available this year. Um, yes, no fast charging network, but again, the range is pretty decent. Uh, and it, this one could be around 30 to 35 grand, definitely under 40 is the expectation. Another game changer, and again, compact SUV, something that Tesla cannot compete just yet with. So I am absolutely excited. Uh, Eternity Not uh, says uh, Remax Concept 2 was revealed to have over 1900 horsepower. Yes, I already did a couple of segment, segments about the Remax. I wanted to maybe uh, uh, do another one uh, tomorrow once uh, everything's out. Ooh, my bet. I think my camera just went out, guys. Let me fix that. Let me know if you can still hear me, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix my camera really quick. I'm back. Uh, let me know if you can see me. My battery literally popped out of the camera. Okay. Uh, so yeah, no, I'm excited about it. And uh, let's, uh, uh, let's, yeah. So about the Remac, I'm definitely going to talk about it once it is actually uh, um, uh, have a little bit more, uh, if there are any new specs that they've revealed. Um, all right. So before my battery pops, pops up again, by the way, just want to uh, uh, um, uh, remind you guys, if you're enjoying the show, Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, definitely appreciate it. It does much better once people are watching it in the replay. But let me move on to uh, the best part of the show as far as I'm concerned, which is a comment of the day. Uh, this comment of the day is kind of special because, well, it talks about iPace. We can't, we can't go uh, without it. Um, a day without it that I think is going to be coming up a lot. But um, uh, this comes from Graham. And he says, Alex, Graham and Aussie here. I have been with you from the start. Um, I'm assuming the start of the channel, like you weren't really in the delivery room, were you? But if you were, let me know. My my parents have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> but uh, he says, but I have uh, not commented before, but now I must clear up the Jaguar grill comments. Wow, it's the grill comments that finally got you uh, uh, talking, but whatever it was, I appreciate it. I hope you participate more. I hope you participate in live chats again. But anyway, welcome to the conversation, Graham. He says the grill is here as part of the aerodynamics. It gathers air, which is then directed under the vehicle and over a low spoiler um, in the rear, which adds to the downforce to improve road holding. This is briefly mentioned in the lengthy and uh, NAF video release program. Uh, yes, I. I'm realizing as I read your comment, there were a couple of other comments that maybe I made it sound like I, 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 the grill was useless. I was just trying to say that the grill is something that they left in their design because I think they're appealing to an older audience, to the audience that used to see their cars in a certain way. Uh, and and they, they left it in there. I do believe that at some point they'll figure out how to maybe uh, get away without it and, and, and have no grill. I think most, most, most cars will not have a grill at all at some point. Um, but yeah, it definitely has the aer aerodynamics that it improved that's flowing through it. I believe it also cools down. Um, it, it, you know, the, one of the purposes for it to cool down and I, that can be turned on and off by the system depending on it. So it's definitely, there's definitely a purpose of it. I didn't mean to say there was no purpose. There's, there is a purpose, but it 
you know, I think the main reason they left it, I mean, because there are other ways around how to cool some of the parts of your batteries and car and how to make the car more out and dynamic. Obviously, if you lower the hood, it will improve. But I think the reason they went for it and did it this particular way is to appeal to their uh, prime target audience, which prime target audience, which is, you know, older men who are used to a certain type of a look. They just upgraded their fleet. So they're already considered to be kind of up there with, with, with the design. So they don't want to kind of uh, 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 go full screen. Uh, Mario says, Sasha, your t-shirt went full screen. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you like this t-shirt, you can buy it. A description uh, of this video has the link. Uh, you should make the t-shirt that says Frank uh, it. Uh, with a car picture on it i have quite a few of them that says frank on it but uh good good uh good point michael uh stewart um and nigel says only problem with jack can buy two model threes for less in uk each car can uh bad grand 47 uh, pounds assuming basic model three is less than thirty thousand pounds uh yeah i mean i think it's two it's a completely different type of a car uh you know jaguar i pace uh compared to model three um but yeah i listen i think everybody agrees that the price is up there the only hope is that this is an MS, msrp which jaguars usually set pretty high so hopefully the real price may be around 80 once they start you know negotiating or maybe offering some really cool deals okay guys i i really didn't think that we're going to have that many news today we once again over over time so uh um, tomorrow at 11 a.m here but don't forget wednesday and thursday i'm actually going to go live at a very different time actually the opposite at 10 p.m pacific time i have some obligations during the day so 10 p.m hopefully will some of you who don't usually get to see uh, and participate this uh, into this uh, live can uh, can join us but i'll be back on friday at 11 a.m at the regular time so all right guys way over time i will see you tomorrow and of course remember to stay charged you <laughs>